What is up everyone, my name is Mrs. Relicious and today we have a brand new developer update of Coral Island for you. It is the last day of November so the developers are just in time to send out the developer update for November. So in this update we're going to look at all the things that are new or have been added to the game. So let's put on our farming pants and dive right in. <laughs> Before we start, just a quick note that I stream live over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I love to play story driven adventure games while chatting and hanging out with all of you guys. So if that sounds like it's something that is up your alley, don't be shy to drop on by and say hi because I love meeting you guys and getting to know you. Links are in the description. The first update is all about festivities. Yes, there will be several festivals that are going to be in the game, one of which being the Cherry Blossom Festival. Now, the developers have finished almost all of the assets that go with this festival so they're almost ready to put it into the game. So in this update we get to see a little bit of what this festival entails. Now they didn't want to spoil too much so the only thing we get to see are the entrance to the festival and the lake area. Furthermore we get to see some generic decorations of festivals in the form of these traditional umbul umbul. These don't only have a decorative function but also a practical one as they guide the player where the festival is located. The umbul umbul will always be decorated differently depending on the festival that is going on at the time. Next up we have an update that is especially for those of you who aren't a fan of walking. That's right, fast travel makes an introduction into the game. As you will progress through the game you will find special teleport tokens that you can use to fast travel across various parts of the map. Now these fast travel points will allow you to get a lot quicker to all the different areas. Well what is a farming game without any farming animals? And because you can never have too many farming and feathery friends, they actually made some upgrades to the farming buildings. Especially this time the coop and the barn. This means that you can keep more animals in these types of buildings. If you are an alpha player, you get to upgrade these buildings one level, which brings them to a total of eight animals you can now keep in both of these buildings. Now besides building upgrades, we also have some revamped buildings. We're looking at both exteriors and interiors. For the interiors, we're going to look at the clinic and the school, and the exteriors is going to be a place that the locals like to call the dump. We start off with the dump. Then we have the interior of the clinic, and lastly, we move on to the school. Now the next one may seem like an arbitrary one, but there is now proper grass in the game. Developers are now in the process of adding the grass wherever it needs to be in the world. And on top of that, there's also been some progress in the mines. An additional 15 levels have been redecorated and revamped with new and additional assets. This will give the mines a little bit more of an earthy theme. And we are speeding through these as this is already the last update that we have for this month, which is of course a couple of new and edited dialogue options for several characters. Well there you have it, there was already a brand new update for Coral Island. For next month, which is going to be the last update for this year, we're going to look at some of the new things in terms of Giants gameplay, a fully implemented town rank and a Q&A system for the NPCs. Now I have to say, the more I see of this game, the more excited I get. So I can't wait to hopefully be able to play this game sometime next year. Now I'd love to know if this update also made you more excited, so definitely let me know what your favorite part was in a comment, which you can leave below the like button. And that's it for me for today, but as always, I'll leave you with the following and that is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You have all been extremely delicious yourselves as well. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next update. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please support me by leaving a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to get a notification when my next video goes live. In the meantime, here's some other videos you might enjoy.